Hello friends, this video on hydrocarbon part 26 is brought to you by examfear.com, no more fear from exam. Let's talk about the chemical properties of arenes. So, arenes generally follow electrophilic substitution reactions. And why substitution? Because they are very stable actually. These guys are stable, even they have double bond. So they are stable they could due to resonance and other effects which we have discussed in the past chapter. They are stable and since they are stable, they generally go for electrophilic substitution reaction. Correct. And why electrophilic? So this is they have double bonds, right? They can attract the electrophiles. So they generally go for electrophilic reactions and since they are stable, so they generally go for substitution reaction. But under certain condition, they also undergo addition and oxidation reaction. This is the reaction types. So we have electrophilic substitution reaction, there we have nitro nitration, halogenation, sulfonation, Friedel-Craft alkylation reaction, Friedel-Craft alkylation reaction, and we have addition reactions. Let's start with the nitration reaction. Right? This is a addition, uh, addition, uh, sorry, substitution reaction where what happens is the nitro group will replace a hydrogen. Correct? Here a nitro group will replace a hydrogen. This happens when you have sulfuric acid and nitric acid. Then this nitro group will replace a uh, hydrogen here and you will get nitro benzene. So let's see the reaction mechanism here. So I have a nitric acid HONO2 and I have sulfuric acid HOSOH. This is my sulfuric acid. Right? So they will react. So with this what they will form is a water molecule plus NO2 and this will form a negative charge. Yes. Correct. Now this water molecule, this is water actually, plus charge here. This water molecule will go off actually. So with this I'll get what? NO2 plus and water molecule. NO2 plus will be something like this. Now let's react this NO2 plus with the benzene. This is my benzene and let's suppose this is my benzene and I have NO2 plus in this fashion. The plus charge. Correct. So what will happen is and there is a hydrogen here, there is a hydrogen, there is a hydrogen here actually. Correct. So what will happen is NO2 plus this is this is have a lot of electrons, this, this itself will attack this guy. Correct. With this, this hydrogen bond will break and this will come out. So with this what you get is something like this. H plus. And this H plus will go, will react with this guy and we will get back H2 as well. Correct. See, because of these NO2 plus, this double bond is as uh, my electrophilic center will attack this guy, NO2 plus, this hydrogen bond. This will come here, hydrogen bond will break and then it will be a substitution reaction. Let's understand the halogenation reaction. So this happens in the presence of Lewis acid like ferric or aluminium salt of the halogen which you are adding. So here the reaction is you have arene, you have typical reaction you have arene with hydrogen, you react with some halogen, you get arene with some halogen and hydrogen is out. That is the reaction we have. So in this case let's suppose there was a hydrogen here and the chlorine will replace this hydrogen. Correct. You must be wondering what is the need of AlCl3 here. So AlCl3 will make this chlorine all the more electro file will make this uh, chlorine more electrophile. So the reaction is I have, let's suppose I have Cl2, I react with Al Cl3. So this will give me Cl plus and Al Cl2 minus. So this Cl plus you see is my strong electrophile. Correct? Now let's see the reaction. So let's suppose I have a benzene here. 
So let's suppose I have a main zero here. Right, I have H here. This is my pin. So I have CL plus coming in. So what will happen is this guy will attack here. Correct. This guy, this bond will break as negative and positive actually. So and this chlorine will attack in this color, right? So what I'll get is something like this. This this bond is intact. With a positive charge. We we'll have a hydrogen and also chlorine. And this is a stable compound because if you see the resonance, you can make more structure of this, right? This is a stable compound. Now, what we'll do? We'll remove the hydrogen actually from this. So what we do? We remove this hydrogen from this. For this, we use this guy, ALCl minus one. We still plot this hydrogen from here. So with this, what you get is again your old painting with the chlorine. And this is my chlorobenzene. Correct. And with this, if you see, my HCl is out. Pretty easy reaction. Nothing great here. So we'll talk about sulfonation reaction here. If you see, one hydrogen is replaced with SO3H2. This happens in the presence of concentration of sulfuric acid. And it has to be fuming. It has to be hot in the gaseous phase. Right? 330 Kelvin. Now, the reaction is pretty like this. You have aromatic with hydrogen. You should get aromatic with SO3H. How is SO3 formed? By loss of water from H2SO4. So you have H2SO4. So in this you can get SO3 in H2. And please note it is a reversible process. So I can add something like this. Reversible process. Okay. So let's see the reaction mechanism of this. I have a benzene here. Correct. This guy, this guy, this guy. And this SO3. SO3 is in this one. Like so this guy will attack this sulfur and this bond will break. Correct. So this guy will attack the sulfur and bond will break. So this will be minus charge here. This will be plus charge here, right? So this is the plus charge here. So what will happen is this bond, if you want to break, you have to break in the negative and positive correct since so plus so you will get something like this o minus and with a positive charge and the other bonds are intact this bond and this bond and this will be a very slow process this attack will be very slow process now i have a hydrogen molecule here also Correct. Now, what I can do is I can lose one H from here, right? With that, if I get a double bond, it will add more stability to the system. So, I lose one H from here and I'll get my benzene, full benzene back with this O3 minus. And this H which I am losing will go to this. So, this will become H. And I'll get the ring back. So, this is my final compound and that is my answer. Now let's take the Friedel-Craft alkylation reaction. Please note it's alkylation reaction. So here we take alkyl halides, alkyl halide, we react with aromatic compound in the presence of Lewis acid, Lewis acid so you get something like this. You get CS3 group here. Right? You get alkyl group here actually. This is an example where you react uh, benzene with CS3 Cl, you get taurine. Correct. So here also ALCl3, the purpose of ALCl3 is to increase the electrophilicity of alkyl halide by forming complex. You can also use other levels as for example BF3, APCl3, ZnCl2 etc. can also be used. So let's see the purpose of ALCl3. Example I have ALCl3 here. So reacts with CH3Cl. So it will give you what? 
it will give you CH3 plus carbocation and will give you AlCl4 minus. That's what it will give. Correct. So now I have CH3 plus. Now let, let's take this example. I have this benzene here. I have my CH3 plus. So this will attack here. Since it was plus, it will form minus and plus. This bond will break. And you will get something like this CH3 and with a positive charge here. Correct. And I will have hydrogen also here. And these bonds will be intact. Now what happens is, there's a positive charge here, there's a hydrogen here. This hydrogen will leave and it will form bond here. So what you'll get here is intact benzene once again with CH3. And my H plus is out. So H plus will be consumed by ALCl4 minus. So what you get here is toning. Correct. Easy only. So the only reason why you're using this uh, Levis acid ALCl3 is it will increase the electrophilicity of this create cations, carbocations. Correct. Let's see the acylation reaction here, Schmidt-Craft acylation reaction. So here what we do is here we have something ARH form and we try to get ARC. O O R form, right? So I have a benzene. I react with acyl halides here. Generally, right? In the presence again, in the presence of AlCl3, we get this is my acyl benzene. In this case, it is acetophenone. Correct? And acyl. Same thing here also. AlCl3 will enhance the electrophilicity of acyl halide. Exactly same as the last one. So if you see your uh, R C O C L for example Zy C S3 here. Right? R C S3 C O L when you react with AL C L3 you give uh, C H3 C O plus and AL C L4 minus. Correct. So now this guy can easily attack the benzene. So let's suppose I have my benzene, correct, and I have CH3, COO plus, so this will attack here, right, so this will break into minus and plus, sign this bond, so what you'll get, and this is a very slow process actually, so with this, what you get is, this guy, CH3, COO, and this is a plus sign here and there is a hydrogen here correct same thing this hydrogen bond will break and form a double bond here so with this you get CH3 COO and this benzene and this is my acetophenone correct very very similar reaction now I will talk about addition reaction that is addition of hydrogen but since we know that benzene is more stable than cyclohexane, this is not easy process, right? It has to be done under high pressure and temperature. Why? Because we know that this guy is stable and this guy is not very stable, cyclohexane. So you need to add three hydrogen in the presence of nickel and it has to be done under very high temperature and pressure. Similarly, addition of um, uh, this halogens also. Right, so this is what you call benzene hexachloride, or we also call it lindane, and this is an insecticide. Here, also, you have to add chlorine molecules in the presence of sunlight, but at a very high temperature because this is more stable, this is less stable. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.